Jerry Jones. Good morning, Jerry. Hey, good morning, man. It's certainly a, a, a pleasure uh, to be on with you guys on uh, uh, this very uh, uh, morning. <laughs> well, this is always a uh, a big moment. It's the biggest moment in the off season for it is. It is, and we uh, <laughs> certainly are looking forward to it. Well, can you tell us which way you're leaning with your pick in the first round at number fourteen? Uh, well, I got to be honest with you. I'm not uh, really too involved with the draft uh, uh, this year. It's, my, it, it's tonight. Starts tonight. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh my God. Well, uh, tonight I've got a, a business meeting at a, a wing stop, and uh, then I'm running the first shift at the Dunkin' Donuts on Preston, <laughs> and uh, and then I'm doing a meet and greet with Ford and Pepsi. So I guess I kind of got a little buried, a little covered over there, and. Uh, and uh, I guess I won't be uh, too much in charge of this draft. Well, you're the general manager, Jerry. You're supposed to be in charge of all this stuff. Are you guys sure it's tonight? <laughs> yes. yes, it starts tonight, the first round. Well, maybe I'll have to uh, uh, put one of my uh, sons uh, uh, in charge of it, uh, which is always a, a risky uh, 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 proposition. <laughs> and uh, last year I put Jerry Jr. in charge of the draft, and... Uh, it came time to make our pick, and he handed me a, a slip of paper, and I opened it, and it said G.I. Joe. So I... <laughs> <laughs> so we had a real, I told him, I said, be serious and come up with a real name. Uh, G.I. Joe's not a real person. I need somebody real. Uh, he come back about uh, three minutes later, and... Uh, uh, open that slip of paper, and it said Justin Bieber. So, <laughs> so we took him off the draft, and uh, so this year, I guess it's Stevens' turn to head up our draft. And I, I've already warned him uh, that we will not be uh, drafting the Hulk, <laughs> Stretch Armstrong, Luke Skywalker, Indiana Jones. <laughs> Or plastic man. <laughs> Those are off the board. Those are off the board. So uh, I've uh, subscribed to the Pulse newsletter. You guys get that? Uh, uh, yeah, unfortunately. As a of fact. <laughs> uh, but they got a lot of great uh, players in there, and I, you know, I uh, uh, my problem is I just uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm I'm pretty well set on a couple players. Mm-hmm. Who you like? Well, I, I tell you right now uh, who we're going to take uh, tonight. Wow. Uh, well, I, I think uh, if all goes according to Hoyle, uh, we're going to take Andrew Luck. <laughs> no, that's not going to happen. You think he's going to fall to 14? Right. Now, if he does fall to 14, we're going to take him. And if uh, and if he doesn't fall that far, then we're going to go ahead and, uh, and uh, take uh, RG3. <laughs> well, those are like the only two picks that everyone knows are not going to be there. Those are going to be the first two picks tonight by the Colts and the Redskins. Oh well, unfortunately, those are also the only two players that I know. So, <laughs> so that's all you can tell us. Yeah, have you guys heard of any other players in the draft? Yes, yeah, we've, we've heard a lot of heard them. Of them. But that's... Well, come on, give me some names. I'll take them. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fax them to you later. How about they email them to you later? Uh, I don't have fax or email. Could you just send me a telegraph? <laughs> okay. Well, Pony Express some names to you. <laughs> That'd be great. Pony up. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, now you think that this team's close still, right? They're they're close to being a Super Bowl team. You just need a few pieces here and there? George, I always think that. <laughs> you know, uh, we could only have two players on our team, and I think we're close to a Super Bowl. <laughs> that's just how that's just how delusional I am. Uh, but uh, but we got the draft room already. I got it. Uh, went down earlier today and turned down the thermostat, so it'll be nice and cool in there. Mm-hmm. Once we get all them people in there, and we're we're gonna do this thing. Yeah, what is it like in the uh, in the war room? Well, usually. Uh, um, Jared Jr.'s got his friends over, so they're running through the room playing Cowboys and Indians and shooting each other in the butt with arrows. <laughs> and we've got about three TVs in there, but most of them are on Jersey Shore or Mythbusters or something. <laughs> you know, you're watching and, draft coverage. 
and uh, we'll cater in, get us some wings, a few buckets of chili, <laughs> something like that. And uh, I tell you though, it's it's been it's gonna be different with Jason. Uh, back when we had uh, Wade and uh, Purcells, uh <laughs> as our head coaches, uh, the draft room always it smelled like boiled eggs or something. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> But uh, Jason, he spends his time reading Shakespeare and stuff, so I'll try to struggle to keep him involved. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds boring with Jason Garrett. Sounds like you'd like it some spice in there. It is. It's uh, yeah, I really only have one rule for our draft room. What's that? I call it my three-second rule. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the song, I please die. Really it too, unless I'm three-second rule. <laughs> What is my it? Three, my three second rule is if you have to think about a pick more than three seconds, you trade down. So that's why you've traded down so many times. That's why I've traded down like 78% of the time. Because <laughs> I, I just can't think too quickly. <laughs> well, you should be able to get a good player tonight at 14. You should be able to. Uh, Joey, I sure do appreciate that. George? I won't have to let you go. I'm getting drunk on hand sanitizer right now. Oh, God. <laughs> <Good morning. laughs>